Ooh, look at me. I'm dad. I wear powdered wigs and silver buckled shoes and I'm a traitor to the Corsican people. Go to your room, Napoleon. No, you go to your room, dad. Okay. On the Austria, you'll never guess what we just did. What's that, friends? I got two words for you. Revolution. We totally just socked it to our monarchy. What? Dude, the rest of us are monarchies. You've just totally threatened the balance of power in Europe. Now we have to worry about our stinky peasants rising up against us. I mean, holy hell, your queen is... Okay, friends, this is pretty awkward. And the rest of Europe is probably itching to give you a wedgie. But you're not ready for a war yet. So you gotta be cool, man. It's absolutely crucial that you say something to defuse the situation right now. Preposterous! I declare war. Sacre bleu! So, whoa, it's a freaky man cat. Whoa, it's a big stick. Whoa, it's an ugly horse. Whoa, it's a stumpy little manlet. Hey, I'm actually average height for the time. <laughs> but the really, Josephine? This guy? I'm just as tall as him. I'm sorry. I swear, now that you're becoming famous, I'll never do it again. Make sure you don't. I've never stooped so low as to cheat on you. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll be in this room consulting my generals for the next 30 minutes. And by consulting, I mean boinking. By my generals, I mean this woman. And by 30 minutes, I mean two seconds. Hey guys, oh my gosh, quick. There's a dangerous Jacobin plot to overthrow you, which we definitely aren't just making up. Better get inside this cage so we can protect you. Okay. Gentlemen, we got him. In hey, Piedmont, you get revolutionary ideals. Hey, Switzerland, you get revolutionary ideals. And Rome, you get revolutionary ideals. Everybody gets revolutionary ideals. Oh, hey, guys. Nice sledgehammers. And Naples, very cool nail gun. You guys here to get some revolutionary ideals? <laughs> As Holy cow, this tiny little fun-sized French guy is running rings around us. Hey! I'm average height for the time, you jerk! Ben, okay everyone, what the hell is going on? This Corsican guy showed up out of nowhere, and he's kicking our ass. He's exporting the ideas of the French Revolution wherever he goes. And he just declared himself King of Italy and Emperor. He can't do that. I'm the Emperor. Oh, hey fellow monarchs. I see you're having a monarch party. My invite must have got lost in the mail. I'll just set up a spot right here. Wow. You don't belong here, Napoleon. We're coming to take you down. I'd like to see you try. Oh, I'm so scared I just pooed my pants. Hey, everyone. I just pooed my pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I did just poo my pants. Before okay, it looks like the French are coming for us. But check this out. I've got an amazing idea. When they approach, we run away. Sir? You're a genius. The rush rhetoric, he's established a confederation in our turf, and he told us he'd give us Hanover, but then offered it to the British. You have to declare war on him. What is it with you and war? What is it with you and being a cupcake? Go to war! Okay. In All right. We're here with the royal family of Spain. So, Fernando, you've been accused of plotting against your father and vying for the Spanish throne. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, Napoleon, I That's just think we're right. Well, I've got the test results right here. Fernando, in the case of the Spanish throne, you are not the king. <laughs> and Carlos, you are also not the king. I'm the king. Okay, it looks like Napoleon's coming for us. Generals, I need ideas. We could stand and fight. No, that's stupid. You're stupid. We could run away. You. You're a star. You'll Numerous times, Napoleon considered turning back, but that little voice in his head kept on telling him, keep going, just a little further. And don't worry, you're definitely average height for the time. He the French are taking the city, release all these prisoners immediately, and tell them to burn it to the ground. Well, well, Jimmy the arsonist, you are not gonna believe your luck. Musk, he also put his factories into overdrive. And he was like, you, make more rifles. You, build new cannons. You, make more horses. I don't make horses. Then who makes horses? Horses make horses. Explain how. Well, when a daddy horse and a mommy horse love each other very much. Yes, go on. Well, then the daddy horse. I'm sorry, Napoleon, you're 43. I thought you'd know this stuff. Don't touch me. I'm gonna be sick. Everyone, look at us. The boys are back together. 
But Napoleon is still dangerous, so we need a plan. Any ideas? Hmm. Ooh, I know. Ah, uh, no, forget it. That's stupid. Ah! Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I've got it! When he approaches, we run away. Genius. He's a genius. What will we do with Napoleon? We can't have a hyperactive 44-year-old menace running around reigniting revolutionary ideals and plotting his return. Well, why don't we send him... Mm, I don't know. There. Okay, everyone. Now that we've finally gotten rid of that guy, let's try to make sure something like this can never happen again. What's that doing there? Hey, fellow monarchs. Ah!